Well, while he's there, President Xi will meet with Taiwan's leader, Ma Yingzhou. The two will meet Saturday in what's being hailed as a breakthrough. Su Yuting has more. A milestone for cross-strait relations. Saturday's meeting is the first between the leaders from both sides of the strait in 66 years. The leaders chose not to meet on the Chinese mainland or Taiwan, but in the third place, Singapore. Experts said the city-state is a good location to have this meeting. Singapore, as you know, Wang Gu on both sides of the street had the first meeting to, to, uh, to break the ice, to start the in contacts across the streets. And then uh, I also believe that this time, I think, uh, as I understand from news coverage, uh, both sides of Taiwan Straits approached Singapore asking for them to play the role of uh, bridge the gap again. I think they've done the job just right. Another highlight is that the two leaders will not use official titles, but will address each other as Mr. They will also not sign any agreement, nor deliver a joint communique. Yet positive outcomes are expected to help enhance trust, consolidate common political ground, and advance peaceful development. Experts say the meeting is a significant breakthrough, and it has attracted great attention. It's a fantastic, it's a tremendous breakthrough. For example, in Taiwan, the media survey has indicated more than 80 percent of people in Taiwan agree uh, to this meeting, think it's essential, and also thinking this meeting would lead to a better development uh, in uh, interchange between uh, across Taiwan Straits. Cross-strait ties have become increasingly mature. Both sides have solved a range of issues through consultations between non-governmental organizations, such as the Mainland's Association for Relations Across the Taiwan Straits and the Taiwan-based Straits Exchange Foundation, and three direct links referring to direct mail, transport and trade links across the strait have been achieved, benefiting people on both sides. Saturday's meeting between Xi Jinping and Ma Yingzhou is the first of this kind since 1949. It's widely seen as an important start in direct communication between the leaders. Many believe that the face-to-face -face talks will signal a new high in cross-strait relations and safeguard stability and peace in the region. Su Yuting, CCTV, Beijing.